Hey guys, uh, I'm just gonna do a short video on like purely in general, like how to play it, how to play against it, what do they usually do? Because a lot of people, a lot of my friends specifically, just don't seem to quite understand like what the deck does in general and how to play against it. So this is just gonna be a short video. So first, in order to actually understand uh, how to play against purely, we first need to know what the basic combo of purely is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through uh, one of their most common hands that they start with, which is uh, two of any of their um, quick play spells and one random spell. So the first thing we do is we activate one of the spells, activate the effect, optional effect, by the way, to discard and special summon. In this case, we're gonna see special summoning out the Lily. Afterwards, during draw phase, of course, um, Lily's gonna activate her effect. And we're gonna get my friend purely we do we're doing this in the draw phase because my friend purely is also a um surge effect which means that we get hit by droll so we do this to avoid the droll now we go stand by main we go activate my friend purely my friend purely is a uh engrave erebus effect so uh we can go ahead and activate that here we have to search three copies of purely delicious memory so if you started with delicious you don't have to search delicious but if you don't start with delicious you have to reveal three copies of it because uh, the next card we're going into requires Delicious to be material. So, of course, we're going to choose all three Delicious. And we're going to add it to hand. And then we're going to activate the Delicious Memory. In this case, we're going to choose to not activate the optional effect. So we don't discard and we don't summon. AKA, we're just activating it and resolving it with basically no effect. Obviously, this can't be a battle now, but there's no effect. Now we're activating the effect of Lily Engrave. We're targeting the Delicious, and we're transforming it into the Leafeon by attaching the Delicious. Now we see that this effect says, uh, if this card has, uh, this is a quick effect, if this card has Pearly Delicious Memory up, to go ahead and attach the spells during the end, uh, when you activate them, right? So we're going to go ahead and just activate this effect, we're going to attach the Dark Ruler, and we're going to attach the Happy Memory, right? And then we're going to go ahead and activate Sleepy Memory, with resolving with no effect once again. And then we're going to chain the effect of Plump, go ahead and attach it. Now you see that Plump has five materials underneath it, with one of them being the Lily. That means that we now have the summoning requirements for the boss monster, Noir. We're going to summon Noir onto the field, and this is the end board. It's a 6 material Noir with my friend Purely on board. Uh, this might not seem very good, but realize that Purely Sleepy Memory uh, has the effect of once per turn during your opponent's standby phase, you can draw a card. So now we're just drawing a card, right? But Noir has an effect that says uh, you can detach 2 materials from this card, then target 1 card your opponent controls or in the graveyard, place it at the bottom of the deck. This is a quick effect if you have a level 1 Purely. And we do have it. And it's not once per turn, it's not once per chain. And this card is unaffected by activated effects because it has five or more materials. So we can wait till my opponent has a threatening board to threaten this card, and then we just fire all three effects at once. Um, since we, we have we maintain priority because this card's unaffected, right? It's really hard to out, and we spin three cards. And let's say pure, we spun some cards, and this card got outed. Uh, we have my friend Purely that says that um, if a purely equity monster leaves the field because of the opponent's card effect, opponent card even the damage step that means it gets to red battle as well you can add three purely quick play spells with different names from your graveyard to your hand so we're going to activate this we're going to add back the happy memory the delicious memory and the sleepy memory and you'll find that just off of this we have more cards in hand than when we started with and this is insane because obviously now we have infinite follow-up right and then we just draw a card per turn and we have five cards per turn and this is just three cards so you should have like two other cards in your hand at the start um, this is like basically like the most basic combo, obviously. So now that we understood the most basic combo, I'm going to go into like in depth on like, uh, some, some crazy interactions with this, with, uh, with this deck. First of all, uh, it's the interaction with like, uh, cards that have effects upon being discarded. We see that in our previous combo, how like we went very neg, right? when we performed our combo but now like let's say like we have a pretty ideal hand we have like two purely quick plays right and then like maybe we hard drew one of the field spells or if we hard drew the my friend purely right 
we uh the combo will be like during draw phase we would go uh sleepy memory right and we activate effect we discard brow upon activation upon resolution so this brow will actually trigger we go chain link one lily chain link two brow uh, i think brow's mandatory i think so it's chain link one brow chain link two lily probably since we already have my friend purely we're gonna search uh purely uh straight purely street in this case if you don't have my friend purely you always search my friend purely and then we're gonna draw a card uh go into main phase we're gonna activate straight purely street right away because this gives our purely monsters the sub the shard they are summoned the um spiral resort effect which is very insane now we're gonna go uh, activate my friend purely and then since we have access to religious memory already we want as many copies of sleepy memory as possible because that's the card that draws cards so we're going to choose two sleepy memories and then we're going to choose um one of the worst ones like the the one that gives attack uh which one is that one um i think it's it's delicious right yeah so we go two sleepy and a delicious and unlucky we got delicious so we go uh if it'll let me uh, i think i'm lagging a bit um yep we're gonna activate delicious we're gonna activate the effect discarding beast for effect on resolution and we're gonna act some sort of summon purely out we're gonna go chain link one purely chain link two beast we're gonna draw a card and then we're gonna ban uh we're gonna uh wait, duality the top three cards of our deck and add a purely spell trap this card this effect is not once per turn by the way so these go on the bottom of the deck now that we have the effect uh the delicious in the graveyard we can go ahead and target it with the umbreon to transform into the leafeon now uh we will go uh happy memory and we'll resolve it with effect we're gonna discard the copy of stray purely street that we don't need and we summon another copy of purely out this is this is very really important now uh we can go ahead and uh, activate the effect of the purely again to banish the top three cards of our deck and add a purely spell trap uh we're gonna go ahead and add this copy of my friend purely for follow-up and now we see we have three spells in grave this means that we can go ahead and declare the plump effect to go ahead and attach two of them And then we're going to activate the list memory and we're not going to activate the effect to discard the optional effect to discard one we're going to chain plump and we're going to attach it now that this card has five materials we have the summoning requirement for nor we're going to summon up nor and then these two we're going to overlay them into kiki nagashi fucho this means that we're not gonna die next turn because we have two towers on the field and this card basically means you never die. And then we proceed to the end phase. We're gonna activate straight purely streets effect and we're gonna attach a purely card onto a purely XYZ we control. This is a seven material noir. That means even if we activate an effect, she's still unaffected by card effect. So we have three spins and we have Fucho. Now we proceed to our opponent's standby phase because we have one copy of sleepy memory attached to it. I think we only have one sleepy. We get to draw a card so now we have three cards and then let's say we use all our interruptions and this gets outed we now get uh three copies of purely spell and test back quick play spells and test back in our hand we're gonna add back this one add back this one and add back this one and let's say we are forced to use fucho's effect and everything on our board gets outed we're just left with fucho and they have a big board we draw and we start with seven cards in hand if we happen to not miss the two out of three for sleepy we would have drawn a second card that means we would have eight cards in hand and our deck runs cards like santa claus and dark ruler no more even going first because uh even if we draw the cards going first if we can't use them in the end we just discard them for our purely effects and those are the best cards to draw off of like um sleepy memory and whatever because when your opponent your opponent can't kill you obviously because you have fucho right or you have the um, independent Nightingale, like assemble Nightingale. Like you can do one or the other, and that basically means you always survive the turn. And then you just like like hit them with like infinite amount of Santa Clauses and like uh, Dark Willers, and you just break their board. 
right? Let, let's say I hit him with a Santa Claus, I hit him with a Dark Ruler, they have nothing, right? They have a Santa Claus on their board, it's in defense position, right? And we're gonna move it here, and now they have nothing, right? I'm just gonna, this is gonna be a sample on like how we, how we kill. We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna activate my friend purely, of course. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and activate Delicious Memory. We're gonna discard a second copy of my friend purely. We're gonna summon out the Noir, the, uh, the Lily. Lily's gonna add Street. We're just gonna activate Street. We're just gonna activate the effect. We're gonna go ahead and target the uh, Happy Memory. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, overlay into the Plump. We're gonna overlay. We're gonna overlay into X Purely Happiness. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's the Santa Claus is in defense, right? So we're gonna go ahead and activate Pure Delicious Memory. We're gonna choose a Santa Claus. This turn, Santa Claus cannot be destroyed by battle, right? And now we're gonna declare the uh, this effect, and we're gonna go ahead and suck it up. Uh, and then we're gonna activate the Happy Memory uh, to make our happiness not be able to destroy the card effect, and we're gonna attach it. So now we see that this card has two copies of Happy Memory. Happy Memory says this card can attack monsters a number of times each battle up to the number of Happy Memories attached to it plus one. We have two, so it can attack three times. We're going to go into battle. We're going to attack into it. We're going to declare her effect. Um, uh, at the end of the damage step, if this card battles, you can add a purely card from your deck to your hand. Also, if it has Happy, you can have the attack. We're going to have card this card's attack, and we're going to add another copy of Happy Memory. We're going to activate Happy Memory, targeting the Fujo. We're going to attach once more during the battle phase. So now this card has another copy of Happy Memory, so you can attack four times. We're going to attack three more times onto the uh, Santa Claus. One time, two times, and three times. Uh, this Since it's Santa Claus attached for the battle, right? Even if we were higher attack than it, it won't be destroyed. We're going to search three more times. We're going to search literally everything. We're going to search this. We're going to search this. We're going to search this. And then afterwards, you see that our purely has a bunch of material, right? We can like activate sleep memory, declare that we're not activating effect. Last we sleep memory, we're not activating effect. Activate sleep memory, we're not activating. We just, we just attach everything, and then we go downer Zeus, and this is like an infinite material Zeus, and like this is probably enough to win the game on its own. But if you're not willing to do the Zeus, you can instead like go for an infinite material Noir. That's like insane, right? Instead of the Zeus. And then you have like three copies of Sleepy Memory on it. So you draw three cards during the standby phase. You they out it, you get three more cards back. That's like in-depth purely purely. So like if they go into the battle phase with happiness, with even one copy of Happy Memory attached, they get four attacks. Like it's over. They, they just search four times, they attack four times. You literally cannot prevent it. And because of purely street, they, you can't target that card. So like... <coughs> we established that purely is really good at breaking board in engine so we they just need little bits of pushing like they need like one board breaker card maybe and your board just gets dismantled because happiness also has the effect where you can uh bounce spell and tap cards and this card is thrice per turn <coughs> yep and uh it's almost over i'll just like see like what i've like come up with Obviously, I'm doing the triple brow plus beast plus metal fusion draw engine. Um, if you don't like it, you don't have to play it. Uh, and then I'm doing the Santa Claus plus Dark Ruler plus Tactics as my going second cards because uh, with no maxi, I don't think the power of hand traps is high enough to warrant playing them. That's all. Hope this was a pretty detailed explanation, by the way.